Great to have the best on ground on the reserves, Nick Darvishir. Nick, congratulations. Been a big year for you. You had a seizure at the start of the year. Take us through that and into your thoughts now. Oh, honestly, just playing footy again was my main focus. So like, when it actually happened, like, I don't remember anything. So I think it was a much bigger deal for the people around me. For me, it was big, but like I'm just happy to be back out playing, and that was my focus. So I didn't. I'm just happy to be playing. It's just I'm a bit overwhelmed, really. So was it the start of the football season when the seizure occurred? Is that right? Uh, second round. Right. Second round, and then I think I had eight, eight or nine weeks off, and then just worked my way back, trained hard. And, eventually got back in. Did you think you'd come back? Oh, I always knew I'd come back. People were telling me not to come back, but I love footy too much. I wasn't going to not. When you say you were told not to come back, was that medical opinion? No, not medical. It was just like, I think people worried. So like, I, I went through all the medical stuff I needed to do. I got cleared. That was why I spent so much time on the sidelines. Um, but just people caring about me, not wanting it to happen again, because it was pretty traumatic for them. So a culmination of all the hard work must be really satisfying now. Feels so good. I'm exhausted right now, but can't, <laughs> just can't wait to get out there and party with the boys. It's been a pretty big week, Nick, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. It's been a bloody great week. Started off with the league and now Premiership with the boys. What could you ask for any more? No, I don't think so. Were you confident? Leading up to it, oh, yeah, we were, but we didn't want to get too ahead. We, we didn't want to get too ahead of ourselves because, you know, that's when you sort of stuff up and like that. But training trained really well and to get this reward for an outstanding season, you can't ask for much better. Take us through the second quarter. How were you able to get on top? Just the belief, the belief that we could do it and when we start, things started working, we started putting pressure on them and stuff like that, then we realised, hang on, this, this is our game to lose. So that's when we started and when we got the first goal, that's when it started the motivation, the, the momentum, that sort of stuff came through and then we were able to pull through. So. And then you had to change the way you played in the second half because exactly. the rain came. Exactly, we had to lock down completely because it rained, wind. So, and well, lucky enough, they didn't score in the second half, uh, in the third quarter. So we did our job real well. So can't ask for much better. We've got the captain of the Cranbourne Reserves team, second flag in three years, Jay Mills. How satisfied are you? Oh, mate, I'm over, over the moon. I did, no words can describe the feeling today. It was just the boys, just all year we worked hard for it. No one really gave us a chance. And, Came into the final series and we just turned it on. Just it was a, it's a process all the way through and came to today and we just we did what we have to do. That's all we did. How good was that second quarter? Did you think you had a, a second quarter like that in you? And I suppose you would have been doing a bit of a rain dance privately. Yeah. The rain came at half time, made it pretty tough for Nari in the second half. Yeah, 100%. Second quarter, we just, just turned it on, had a really big quarter and just put them on the back foot. And as soon as the rain came at half time, we sort of, you know, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to hope you're going to win too early, but you know, we knew it was going to bring the game nice and tight and we, we'd already got a lead. So we're, uh, we're getting the confidence is building. We just had to keep the pressure on and we did that through the third quarter, kept the scores with the wind and just moved on to the last and just kept working. So it was a great effort from the boys. Enormous self-belief, I suppose, from that second quarter. The coach was saying that he would have been instilling that into you. He said he's been instilling that into you the entire final series. Yeah, yeah 100%. It was basically, that's what it was all about today. It was just, you know, instilling that into us and keeping the pressure on all day. And we knew we kept the pressure on all day. We'll, we'll come away with the win, and that's all we did. So it was a great effort. Good on you, mate. Congratulations. Enjoy the celebration. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Good on you, Thanks, mate. Good on you. Thank you.